that, I mean, even kind of circling back to another issue of, um, you know, the housing market and the financial, you know, crisis because of, of the, I will go out on my limb, you know, the Democrat policies, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, you know, uh, giving out loans, escalating the market, the market, you know, everything's written on paper, it falls apart, and now the housing market plunges. And it's all government, it's all government guaranteed, so the banks aren't taking any risks. Right, but so you, you can't know, blame the bank. I see it in the neighborhoods that I live in. Is you know the houses are. I mean, there's one house in our neighborhood that certainly is, you know, probably 50 percent less than the purchase price. Wow. Huge. And I think that you know when you see these type of things, that's probably. I mean, I think that might be a little bit unrealistic um, in that situation, but y because the market wasn't real. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. you know, Whenever you have government intervention, it, 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 ups, it distorts the true free market, right. which wouldn't, you wouldn't have all of these And then crazy. going back to how you subsidize everything, yeah. everybody's subsidizing you know, the, the people who shouldn't have got the mortgages right. in, the, in, the, in the first place. Yeah. You know, just so if you can't afford it, you know, but right. you know, everyone, everyone, you know, according to the Democrat policy, should have been able to have right. a house. Yeah. Well, a, you know, a chicken in every pot, isn't that what one presidential candidate said like <laughs> 70 years ago or whatever? Well, it's you basically know, bribing the American people. Well, it's yeah. interesting because actually at the time, <laughs> one of the, the departments I have was the Department of Banks, um, and, you know, we were trying to push forward um, mortgage reform um, because you had the banking regulations, but you didn't have any, you know, it was kind of the Wild West. And um, I will give you an example. The Democrat uh, finance of the Senate, the, the chair who's no longer there, we said, you can't put this language in that, you know, making mortgages subjective to anybody. It has to be, can you afford it? Look at the numbers, here are the algorithms. And he would not take that language out of the bill that said that the person, the mortgage broker, could make the subjective judgment whether someone could afford it or not. Oh, that's crazy. And I, I looked through that and fought it. We lost, and that wow. was about three years, two and a half years before the mm. prime example. Yeah.